What's up guys? So today we're gonna try something called hydro dipping. I've seen a few videos of it being done online and decided that I had to try it myself. So first things first, I'm gonna prep my shoe using some Angelus Preparer ND Glazer. Keep in mind that this effect will work best on a white surface, so if you have any item that's a different color, it would be best to paint it white first. Next, I'm gonna make sure my shoe is properly taped and add more coverage to any uncovered areas. To print our pattern, we're gonna use something called hydrographic film, which you can pick up on Amazon, eBay, or anywhere online. In order for our paper size to be compatible with our printer, we can lay a sheet of paper over our roll and cut around the edges accordingly. Keep in mind that there's a shiny glossy side to the paper and a more matte side to the back. When placing into the printer, make sure that the paper is facing in whatever way that will allow it to print on the glossy side. Once we have our image printed out, we're going to go ahead and use some scissors to cut around the printed area. Be careful not to touch the printing with your fingers, as any moisture from your hand will leave a red mark on the image. Use an X-Acto knife to separate the film from its backing, and lay it printed side down to smooth out any air bubbles. Once our film is smoothed out, we're going to lay some masking tape alongside the edges in order for us to transfer the film to the water, and also to give it some buoyancy when floating. Now, this part is extremely important. Since we laid our film face down, that means the sticky side of the tape is the side we printed on. It's crucial to lay the non-printed side of the transfer on the water, so keep in mind which side is which. Next, we're going to need to fill up a pretty large space with water, depending on the size of the object you're hydro dipping. You can use a container as well, but since I'm attempting to dip a shoe, I just use my sink. You're also going to need a hydro activator, which you can find anywhere online as well. This will be sprayed over our film right before we dip. Okay, so first things first, we need to lay the film non-printed side down on the water. It's important not to get any water on the top of the film as it will change the color of the ink and leave it running down the film. We're gonna let it sit for about 60 seconds before spraying the activator. The film should crumble up at first and go flat once it's ready. We can then spray some activator on top, wait 30 seconds, and then dip our item at an angle. I would recommend to dip one side in first, followed by the other side after that. Give the item a shake to get rid of all the debris around it, and pull the item up out of the water. Obviously, this isn't the best item to dip since it's round and there's multiple sides to it, but I definitely recommend practicing on something before dipping the real thing. Now let's move on to the shoes. We're gonna repeat the same steps as before. Lay the film on the water, wait 60 seconds, spray the film with activator, wait 30 seconds, and then dip the shoe at an angle. The film is removable when wet, so I'm gonna quickly wipe it off and show you guys what happens if you try to dip the shoe when it's already wet. The film is affected by the moisture on your item's surface, so make sure if you're gonna dip it again that the item is completely dry. I'd recommend leaving the item to air dry overnight before removing any tape or picking and poking at the film. Once dried, the durability seems pretty decent as scratching at it with my nails made no effect. Now, would I recommend using this as a method of customization? Absolutely not. The film is pretty sensitive and can easily be damaged or affected. It's also pretty hard to get a decent dip without messing up a couple times first. The shoe needs to be submerged in water and can easily leave you dumping out a puddle from the inside. As far as the durability, I'm not too sure how it handles the pressures of walking, so that's up for you guys to find out and let me know. I'd consider this a fun project to try out, but nothing to take seriously. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time.